What's up everyone, it's Austin Rutherford, real estate investor and entrepreneur out of Columbus, Ohio. Now live in South Florida, flipped hundreds and hundreds of houses on a bunch of rental properties. This is a question that I got asked with, by one of my students last week. And they're like, hey, you know, I have this multifamily deal. Is this something you'd be interested in partnering on? And I was like, absolutely. I'd love to partner on it. I've partnered on multifamily deals in the past. So if you ever have any multifamily deals and you want to partner, make sure you message me at Austin Rutherford Official on Instagram. And then as we dove into the numbers, they realized that this was not a good Burr strategy. What's the Burr strategy? Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, and repeat. It's how to own real estate using none of your own money. Buy with other people's money, renovate with other people's money, rent it out, refinance it, and repeat the process time and time again. First, if you could smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm, it'd be greatly appreciated. So one of my students called me and said, hey, we just offered 600 grand for this property. We want to partner on it. We need $175,000 for the down payment. Will you come in as a partner and bring that down payment? And the thing you got to understand with this is that property was already operating 100% cash flowing. The day they bought it, it would be still cash flowing. And I told them that's probably not a good burr deal because there's usually three ways to do a good Burr strategy, buy, renovate, rent, refinance, and repeat. Basically, the entire essence of the Burr strategy is to buy the deal at a super discount, to either renovate it or increase the rents to pump the value of the property, to then stabilize it and get it fully operational turnkey, and then be able to refinance your money out of it 75 cents usually on the dollar. So you gotta be all into these deals usually for 70 to 80% of the new value of the property to be able to refinance out to pay off all your lenders. And the first reason is it usually needs major renovation. It means that you can't sell it at top dollar because it's not operating. It needs bathrooms and roofs and windows and parking lots and all these things. So you gotta buy it at 50 to 60 cents on the dollar, renovate it to increase the value to then refinance out of it. Number two, the rents are super undervalued. So let's say a market could rent at $1,000 a month and they're currently rented at $700 a month and the, the units are in pretty good condition, they're just severely under rented. The, the landlord, the owner hasn't increased the rent in 10 years, let's say. So you can also get a very good discount on a deal just for that alone if the rents are super undervalued. Usually it's a combination of the two, needs work, and the rents are undervalued. So you go in there, you buy it, you renovate it, you increase the values, you increase the rents, and then you refinance out of it. Or three, which almost never happens, property's beautiful, it's renting, it's making money, and the seller wants to sell it 70 to 80 cents on the dollar. Again, I don't know why they would do that, but that's the other way to do it because you have to get it 70 to 80% of the value of the property to be able to buy it and then refinance that money out of it. And remember, this includes interest to your lender, holding costs, and closing costs. So if you buy it for, you know, a mill, put a mill into it, and then refinance it for 2.5, you're not in for two. You're in for like 2.2 mil because you have interest, closing costs, title fees, appraisals, all those other things. So all, 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 all in everything, you don't want to be into a property for more than 70, 75, maybe 80 cents on the dollar, depending on what the bank will refinance you out of. Usually they refinance at 75% loan to value. And as I was going through this process, my students started realizing that they were buying the property turnkey at basically market value. There's a little bit of room for improvement, but not 25% worth. And I put it into perspective, I said, hey, here's a deal that I'm doing. I'm buying 18 houses for $3.1 million, a $200,000 renovation. So I'll be all in for 3.3 plus closing, call it 3.5 with interest fees and everything. I'll be all in for 3.5. It's worth five. So I'll refinance 75 cents on the dollar. The bank will give me $3.75 million. I'm all in for $3.5 million. So I'm all in for like 70 cents on the dollar. So day one of the refinance, I'm gonna cash out $250,000 because I'm all in for 3.5. They're giving me 3.75. So 250 grand in my pocket and I have over $1.25 million in equity on a deal. And if you wanna see the entire breakdown, all numbers, all systems, all processes of that deal that I just talked about, make sure you check out this video here and I break it down in total detail exactly how I did it. And when I broke that down to her, it was like, all right, this makes sense. I can't buy properties at market value. I have to buy them at a discount to be able to raise money from other people to fund the deal, to be able to pay them interest, to be able to renovate it with their money, to then rent it out at higher increased rents to be able to refinance it with a bank. So just because a property, you know, you can increase in value two, three, four, five, six, ten percent does not mean it's a good burr strategy because banks will usually only let you refinance out about 75% loan to value. So you need to be all into a deal for 75 cents on the dollar. So you need a 25% discount to be able to do this strategy. 
Usually that means a property needs a lot of work or the rents are severely undervalued. And that's how you get a great burst strategy. Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, and repeat. So comment below. Let me know what you learned. Any questions that you have, make sure you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Hit that subscribe and notification bell so you can get all this content going forward. As always, appreciate you being here. We'll see you on the next one.